Hello and welcome to Maxi's Fun Time. This is Maxi, and we are back here on Hypixel Sky Block. This is the vanilla server. If you guys like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. It really helps out the channel with YouTube views, YouTube searches, YouTube backer, the movement for the channel. If you subscribe to my channel and you want to get notifications every time I upload a video, all you gotta do is go to my page, hit the notification bell, set your settings inside the notification bell. You'll get notifications whenever you want them, not just whenever YouTube wants to send them to you. Uh, those, uh, subscribing to my channel is for free. It doesn't cost you anything. It's not like Twitch. Uh, and, uh, there was another thing and I was <laughs> dang it. Um subscribe to my channel for free. Doesn't cost you anything. We are pushing for a thousand subscribers, so if you could help us out with that, it'd be really great. Um if you do like this video, you want to share it with your friends, come on to like it. There's a share tab down below. There's links there to social media sites, there's a link there for you to copy and post wherever you want. Um I had a comment on one of my videos that was like um you should cut your videos up to where you just do highlights during the bingo. I believe he's just talking about the bingo event. That way I, I don't record all day during the bingo events. Um, I want to, I want to emphasize two things on this one. I don't record all day during the bingo events. Like I have, because I have Crohn's disease, I record the, the session that I do. And then throughout the day, I, I go I go rest, and then throughout today, I come back when my stomach's not cramping as bad, and uh, I'll do like a couple things for, for 30 minutes, 45 minutes here, 30, 45 minutes there, maybe an hour. Throughout the day, I just push myself more than I would during the thing. So normally, during the week, I play for maybe two hours, maybe a little bit more, depending on how my stomach's uh, feeling. During bingo, I usually play for about five or six hours throughout the day. So that would require me to like record all throughout the day. Like some people assume like I when I'm doing like my my bingo recordings, like I play for like six or plus hours every day, twelve hours, however long. I don't do that. I can't I can't physically do that right now with my Crohn's disease acting up and not being on any medication. So um two I wouldn't do that anyway. What I find is most YouTubers that do high pixel videos in general, but for most of YouTube, they get into doing highlights and then they only show like 1% of what they're actually doing. And not only is that not very good, it kind of gives you like a like a crappy hacked up movie trailer feel to to the the video, and I'm not looking to make movie trailers to put them on channel. I'm looking to make actual content that shows what's going on. And that's the other thing. I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing and seeing actually how long that takes. If, if you want to skip ahead and, and skip parts that I'm doing, that's fine. You guys can do that. But not, not giving you the option and taking that away from you and saying you got to only watch this, this, and this, this on my channel. I don't like that. So... I show everything that I do for the most part, unless it's really, really boring. Like I don't have fun fishing. I, I don't know a lot of people that like to watch fishing. Um, it's going to be really hard to do my fishing challenge uh, series when I don't like fishing and you guys don't like watching fishing. So we'll see how that works out. Maybe, maybe maxing out at the beginning how much uh, sea creature summings I have, so it's less fish catching and more sea creature catching I was, I was thinking something like that but uh we'll see um but i just want to highlight in the video i posted it on the comments too i want to highlight in the video um during the bingo specifically i i it, it's like there might be four six hours in between the periods where i get on and, and get to grind stuff so and uh that's not including me just coming on every three three and a half hours and 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 clearing my minions out that takes like five minutes. My stomach's not cramping. Uh, I can, or even if it is cramping, I can come in here, sit down for five minutes, clear my minions out, and then log back out. So, uh, and I don't hardly do anything on my other ones besides the generalized get on, and do some maybe some dailies every once in a while, which uh, on my main account takes my dailies and the mines takes like I don't know, maybe six minutes. I gotta show you that setup. I'm gonna do a video this week of my setup on my. Uh, main for my uh mining so we'll get in that i really want to do it when i'm uh i'm probably gonna have to take like a bunch of money 
and just max out my uh, my uh, gauntlet because I want you guys to see that because I'm 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 really pushing to get that gauntlet up to uh, efficiency ten. <laughs> yeah, I just I want it so bad. Um, a uh, little notes on the uh, Iron Man account. I am probably going to be pushing to do a drill on that account, and uh, I'm guessing doing the titanium drill. Even though I I probably won't be able to get the the Devon uh, armor or the Devon uh, um. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go look at the statistics for all the drills and compare the top drills because I definitely will not be able to get the Devon drill. You guys are wondering why that is. I can't do the jungle like a little platform thing. I can't do that. I I'm I've never been able to do the platform jumping in Minecraft. You can say I'm not coordinated. You can say I suck at the game. Uh, but it's just there's always aspects of the game that people are not good at. I'm not good at the platforming, and I wish there was another way you could just get the that, that one. I don't know why they just locked one of the uh, um, uh, uh, crystals or the crystal hollows behind platforming. Yeah, and then made it to where you couldn't use your abilities in there either. So that's where we're at. I also have a problem with uh, um, it resetting you when you fall into the lava to where you start back at the beginning and you need another key. I don't like that either. So uh, that's where I'm at on that. I like. I think I can show you on this one. I don't know. Exactly. Maybe I can't. Was it skills? Uh, collection? Uh, I think it's skills. Go to skills. Go to mining. Yeah, there it is. Nah, that's not on this one. I haven't done any of them on this one. Apparently, I do have a topaz on this one, though. So, I don't know. It's just, I haven't done crystal runs because I'm horrible at the jungle one and I'm never going to be able to get that one so I'm never going to get the amethyst one this way it is so uh, with that we're going to get started I went ahead and got the money out for uh, the uh, runs today so we're going to go do those uh, if you if you're missing out on what's going on uh, we have in here slime minions that have the corrupted soil in them in pre-sale. And I make about 1.2, 1.5 million just off of these guys. And I I 100% plan on expanding this. I think our best bet, 100%, is to take all of these minions out and expand this out to where... I have basically seven more minions six more so I'm probably going to expand this way and this way make a little two by two hallway on each side and then around the back side here place uh, another string of five or six minions there and then slowly what I'm gonna do is just fill up each room as I get the ingredients to do so, so um, and then uh, we're just going to use this as our money making method. We're going to skip this and we're just going to either buy or grind out the ingredients. Like some of them I can grind out, but for the most part, I'll probably just buy the ingredients and upgrade the hose. I think that's going to be our best bet and it's going to be the fastest way to do it until they, they, until they uh, you know, fix this or, or, or nerf it or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, so uh, is there anything else? Um, I looked at my recipes in here. I do not have the tier six recipes yet for slayers. So this is the best wand that I have. And for the pack master here 
on uh, Wolf, Wolf Slayer 6. I don't have that one either. I need uh, 15,000 more for the Wolf Slayer to get to tier 6. And uh, for Revenant Slayers, I need, I think it was 5,000 or something like that. We can check real quick. I can show you guys. It's not going to take that much anyway. Besides, I need to go ahead and get the new uh, thing. So if we go in here, no, it was 7,000. Which I could probably do this one really, really fast. But uh, each one is 5,000. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I can't do this one anyway. Even if I wanted to, it's it's level 25 and I'm not level 25 yet. So I'd have to do these. So that's... Uh, um, I don't know what I'd need. Basically 9,000 more. So that would be 18 bosses for this one. Which is really not that much. And this one... Yeah. Yeah. 15,000. So that's 30 bosses. Yeah, so where we're at right now is we're at 7,900. It, it's kind of weird, but I, I think what I want to do is go ahead and do a tier one first. Get that up to 8,000. So that I don't have to do an extra tier four boss. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do this to start out with. Yeah. And uh, let's make sure we have our good armor on. There we go. And our wolf pet. Okay. And uh, let's go uh, knock out some of these wolf slayers. I mean spider slayers. So if I feel okay, I might grind out some of these slayers off camera. Uh, if you guys want me to do that, let me know in the comments down below. Hello. I have never done rain slimes? Hold up. In case you guys don't know, uh, there's some kind of a glitch where if you kill him with your bow, it counts as you killing him, but it doesn't count for collection or beastry for some reason. I don't know why that is, but that's kind of stupid. And so you basically have to kill him with a melee weapon. I know this is not part of what we were going to do, but this is quick and easy uh, mastery. And I can come on here and get the 75 later. There we go. Okay. The next level 75, and I have to sit here for a while and kill 75 of these. Yeah. So. Uh, Another good one to check. Let's let's go over here where we can't get hit. Um, we got a combat here in Beastery. Uh, Fighter Dan. Oh, we haven't really done that many of uh, the skeletons too, so we could grind some of those out too one day when we're concentrating on Beastery. I think all next week we're gonna do Beastries. Spider Slayers. Anyway, in order to maximize the benefit of uh, spiders, the uh, slimes setup that I want, I need uh, um, I need to get fly swatter drops, and I need to make those into fly catchers, and that's going to give me the maximum benefit or speed. And uh, we're also going to be working on mithril. Um,
the uh, my Mithril collection so I can get up to doing the, the Mithril fusions. And uh, another reason why uh, we're doing Spider Slayers is I wanted to go ahead and craft the Tarantula armor by the end of this week. So by the end of this week, we want to be able to craft our Tarantula armor. And I need the recipe for the fly swatters anyway. So I thought that would be just perfect for that. So, yeah. And uh, this is not going to take long. Yeah. Uh, let's bring this down here, because this is where I want her to spawn. Yeah. Oh, my wand! Oh. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to kill my kill my kill. Nice try, dude. Nice try. Yeah. Now if we go in here, this is 8,000. That's what we want. Let's start doing tier 2s. That's why I got a little bit extra this time around. Yeah. So... We're basically grinding out three aspects of the game just by grinding spider slayers right now. So. Keep her cracked. Now, I got a bunch of those. This is so good of a section to do the uh, boss fights in. We get Bane of Author Prod 6. That's pretty good. Um, I don't think I have the spider specific weapon. I know there is one. They're called anyway. The recluse. Could be an upgraded one. Get out of here. Getting a little bit of lag today. I'm 
must be time to reset my uh, internet. Uh, that's a little rough, so. You got it. Um, hello? What's to follow me? Get those off. One. Come on. We got this. Those dots are running. There we go. Anyway. Pretty good. For seven seconds, I gotta remember that. Why is oh, that's my RNG moving me? I was like, What the heck? This fixed that problem, it's fine. Well, this is the big one. Let's get him. Out. Let's try him. We don't want to accidentally summon a uh, another one besides this one. Tommy does a lot of damage. Worse than the boss. That's saying something, isn't it? Cut off. Put that down. I'm counting in my head, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah, somehow it went five down. I don't understand it. No, okay, we're good. We're good. I'm, I guess I'm looking at something else. I don't know.
Yeah, we're good. Whenever I hear it, it summons, I uh, go ahead and pop one of those off, just in case it's the uh, good one. Sure. This also works on my beast tree. I'll show you guys in a minute, after this boss. Hmm, no, no, we're not going to chance that. I'm going to get up here, and, uh, yeah. There we go. Cut off. Go ahead and refresh that. Go ahead and refresh cooldowns. Yeah, I died yesterday twice, which is really messed up because it was one was just me not paying attention, and the other one I, I summoned like a, a mini boss, the 500,000 hit point one that deals a crap ton of damage. Oh, hello! And uh, uh, Spider Catalyst, we needed one of those for our uh, armor, so that's good. That we actually got one. So, I'm guessing what what's happening is I keep forgetting that I have a uh, a Slayer's bag. I'm up. So, dang it! Let's go up here because I wanted to show you guys my beastery too for spiders. Not that one. So, in my Slayer sack, uh, Catalyst are in here now. And I keep forgetting that Catalyst go in your sack now. So, yeah. And I went ahead and emptied this one out. Uh, every session I'm going to empty this out and put it in here. Uh, which one did I pick? Yeah. This is completely empty. Uh, I'm gonna fill this up with them. I think I needed like 14 or something like that. Anyway, uh, if we go to our beast tree here, you see, yeah, we're we're doing pretty. No, no, not that one or that one, but uh, weavers. We're on like tier five, tier four, going to tier five on most of these. Except for the spider jockey, they don't spawn, spawn too many in this particular area that I'm farming. So, there we go. And I think we got three more. I have to switch. Yeah. This is the uh, low level one, so. I seen him. I seen that 500 in his, uh, Concentrating on this guy. Oh, god dang it! <laughs> it just spawned two of them in a row. Now, the good part about this is I hadn't summoned the boss yet. <laughs> so, we can just come back down here. I've got a booster cookie on, guys, so you don't have to worry about that. 
and uh yeah I want to kill this guy okay hopefully the other one died that but then there's good we got eight seconds on that so next time I uh, get my uh, wand okay wand there we go The only time you have to worry about failing it is if it says uh, Slay Boss. At that point, if you die, um, at that point if you die, you, you fail. So, just remember that. Just don't make stupid mistakes while the boss is on there. Not making sure you're regenerating. Uh, I can get a shelmet. I don't know that my uh, griffin is going to give me more benefit than than regular. So I might off camera buy the shelmet. I'm just letting you guys know. Buy the shelmet, put it on my griffin, and try it over the wolf. I use the wolf because I want the uh, the XP bonus. <laughs> I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, there we go. Should be. What is my RNG meter at? I need thousands. That one. Get out of here. So if we come in here, the wolf gives me twenty-one point three percent combat wisdom, and then the griffin doesn't. It does give me more magic find, and is the permanent regen and strength seven so those would probably be good so i'm probably going to get a shaman on this guy and uh try him out see if i kill the boss faster and then next video i'll show you guys the difference i'll kill one with the wolf on and then i'll kill one with the griffin on but i do want the xp bonus so uh, i don't know i don't know which one would be better get this boss down I still love that one. Hello. I love that one. Okay, got all my buffs. Go. I think I'm gonna do this from now and put it down there so I can see it as I'm fighting the boss. Then it don't have to count in my head. That's a bad placement for it though. I was thinking a little bit longer than normal. I'm hoping to get another catalyst. Oh, that off. Yep. There we go. There we go. Today's going a lot better than yesterday.
we got I think I think actually because of the amount of money that I took out I think I can actually do one more so maybe I should get bank and put it on my uh, armor I don't have it on the armor yet I don't believe no maybe I should put bank on this I can't tell. I was so low. Five. I don't know how I completely missed that one. Okay, slow level. It will summon the boss, though, I believe. Down. Here. There we go. Which pet do you guys think I should use once I don't need the actual combat XP anymore? Let me know in the comments down below. Oops, that needs to go back on. There's a spider pet, isn't there? Wrong button. I'm trying to hit it with my wand, which is going to be that effective. Shouldn't need another. There we go. Oh, we're so close. So close. Eight. Yeah, we're just gonna need. We'll go up here. I'll get 3,000 more out. It's fine. 3K. I have 17 million. I can afford it. So if you don't know, if you have been watching the uh, series, please go back and watch from the beginning. But, um... We have passive income, so I need to keep fifteen thousand in the bank, fifteen million in the bank to maximize my uh, profits from that every day. And I'll, I'll show you guys that. Come on. Give us twelve. There we go. All right. Last one. For today. I actually like this. Uh, we might do these more often. Players week. Another low level. I'm gonna refresh that up here where I can see it. Yeah. Come on. Also, I am actually right now. I'm doing combat, melee combat. Uh. 
Um, I don't know what the best uh, melee combat um, accessory thing is. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Thermaturgy stuff? That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead and refresh you real quick. So the goal this week, Rancho Armor by the end of the week. That's the last one, so we can actually just get out of here. Rancho Armor by the end of the week, and uh, we want uh, Tier 6 uh, so we can unlock the... Uh, 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 the, uh, flycatcher recipe. So, right now we're at 12,000. We need 8,000 more. Doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Um, 300, I'm doing 350,000. I don't know why, but that's what I did this time. So I'll probably do that again tomorrow with the whatever else is in my inventory. Um, um, That'll be, what, four summons? And we'll just see what we're at. No, 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 no. Every, every 100,000 is two. So two, four, six. Yeah, six, seven summons. So that's 3,500 points. Uh, I might do 400,000 tomorrow. That's 400,000 would give me a solid 4,000 on here, and then 4,000 again tomorrow, and that'll give me uh, the level. And then Friday, Friday we can look into making the armor if we haven't made it yet. Um, let's go over some stuff. Uh, let's go to our island first. So I know you guys were probably screaming at the screen. Nobody posted it in the comments to let me know that I can't put, stop it. I can't put diamond spreading in these guys because they need plant shovels. <laughs> so they, these three were full of gravel, which doesn't help me. So I saw the gravel. I didn't feel like grinding it out myself. I did make the tool for it. It will come over here. I made another one of these. But, uh, so each one of these now has the right equipment in there to do what I want. So we should be getting more flint that way. And, uh, this will allow us to make the, uh, the spider silk that we need. We come in here, go in here. We did pretty good today. Look at this. Every 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 day, every time. I'm gonna transfer everything into here. Um, I want to go ahead and do it all at one time, so we're just gonna be saving up for these. But we're at 42 right now. Uh, and uh, I get about 26, I think. Uh. But that would have been 26 from each one of these, which is which is good. But all of these said gravel left. <laughs> so, and uh, it's really expensive to buy it. So I'd rather grind it out myself. To be honest with you, uh, that's what the videos are for, right? For you guys, you you make that choice. And uh, we need to save money for our tools. So spending money on this other stuff instead of grinding it out, not an option. We've got to do this ourselves. Uh, it would be better if we had more of these minions down, but uh, we don't. And they're not max level, so I believe this one is the highest one, and he's seven. And I'm not really, I don't really care about getting these guys up because they require enchanted flint to do that, and I kind of need the enchanted flint to make the armor. Yeah, and uh, Friday's probably going to be making the armor, uh, running that out, and then uh, I'm not grinding it out. Making the armor, enchanting it, all that kind of stuff, putting whatever we need on there, and then uh, trying it out, seeing if it's better than our, our regular armor. Uh, 
Just so you guys know, we use this guy. This is the warped aspect of the end. There's all the stuff on it. I do have champion on it. it gives me a little bit more XP. Uh, that's a recent uh, a champion from the bit shop. I I bought mine from the AH, and we spent bits, I believe, buying something else. Uh, but you can just buy this with bits if you want, just to get you a booster cookie. Um, I don't. I don't condone buying the booster cookies. If you have the money to buy the booster cookies, buy them. I don't tell regular players to buy the booster cookies with uh, in, in real life money. My suggestion to you is always to buy them through the bazaar. There's people out there that are actually rich and can afford to buy those booster cookies and they sell those and they rely on you buying them to make themselves money in the game. So definitely, if you if you can't afford to buy the bits, don't worry about buying bits or buying gems. Uh, or the, the gems. Don't worry about buying gems. Get the booster cookies and get your bits that way. Uh, through the bazaar, and that also helps fund uh, the developers because the developers also sell every booster cookie that gets sold is it's been bought. With gems which means that's supporting the developers of the game so that's how that works even if you're buying through the bazaar you're still you're still supporting the developers all right so don't worry about that um, um anyway this is what i used to, to kill them guys off as you can see it does it does a substantial amount of damage um and that's because of the armor we use which is the perfect dragon armor this is legendary I don't know. I don't think this has been uh, upgraded. His dragon armor is legendary, isn't it? Hold on. Let me look that up. I don't want to tell you guys wrong. I'm actually having fun with this one. It's strong. That is the art, which that's not what I'm looking for. Uh. Yeah, there it is. Strong. And you, yeah, you do start out with legendary. So technically, guys, technically, I believe we can, uh, we could buff these stats. Uh, if you guys don't know, I use perfect on this armor to boost the defense up. I believe I have the, um, the diamond. Let me show you guys that one. Uh, do we have boost cookie on, right? Yeah. There's a rare diamond which gives you perfect, but there's also the diamond Atom. Adam. I'm sorry, diamond Adam. And not only does it give you the same bonus, see that's 80 for that one. If we go to the rare diamond, you also get 80. But if you see this diamond one, it's slightly more expensive to buy. And you probably have to buy instantly, to be honest with you. But it also increases your defense that you have by 2%. And that's per piece. So this, this armor is set up for defense only to keep me alive. <laughs> And uh, I get the extra 75 damage on my weapons for, for the damage increase. So that, that's the setup that I use. And then we use the Whoop Pet. This is not the best one to use for this that I know of. Um, but it has the Shellman on it, which one I don't want knocked back. So you do want a Shellman on there. And also I need the Combat XP because we are pushing for... Uh, Combat 24, or we are almost combat 23, 
Uh, we will hit Combat 23 probably tomorrow. Yeah, definitely tomorrow we'll hit Combat 23. Which means we're almost to Combat 24. We need Combat 24 to access the Crimson Isle because there's some stuff on there that we need that I would like for the farming thing before we cut the series off. So, yeah. Uh, I don't think there's any actual collections that we need from there. Anyway, guys, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. It really helps out. Oh, no, there was something else. Hold on. I don't remember what it was. I was going to show you guys something else. Oh, we're saving up 5 million in here so we can upgrade this. Yeah, that's what I was going to show you. So if you look here, you get 1%, you get 2% from your first 10 million, and you get 1% uh, for having 15 million, up to 1%. For having 15 million, and that maxes that out. That means your maximum interest every day is 2000, is 250,000 every day. And what we want to do is we want to get up to like here. Yeah. Uh, so, so the next upgrade is here. That means we will be required to keep 20 million in the bank instead of 15, but our interest max interest is going to be 30 thousand instead of instead of instead of 20 250 thousand, and then uh, we'll go up to here for the next one. This is where my main is at, and I'm required to keep 30 million in the bank to maximize my interest. That's just the way it works. So. And then that's thirty three hundred fifty thousand every day. Just, just well, not every day. I think interest is like every thirty two hours or something like that. But uh, it's a substantial amount of passive income that you can do. So we've been working on this for a while now. But, but that's why I can't. That's why I have this money in here, but I can't actually spend it. So, so this fifteen million, I actually can't spend 15 million of it so i have like two million in the bank so but uh our booster cookie isn't is is good for another three days so this should last us the rest of the week we might need another one for friday if we do anything on friday it's probably just going to be crafting and trying out stuff but uh that's going to cover us for today guys uh i've already done all my daily stuff <laughs> Uh, if you guys like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. It really helps out the channel with YouTube views, YouTube searches, YouTube algorithm movement for the channel. If you subscribe to my channel and you want to get notifications when I have new videos out, all you got to do is go to my page, hit the notification bell, set your settings inside the notification bell. You'll get notifications when I have new videos out. You can come check it out and see if you like it. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell them what you like at the share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put it in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on social media pages. Don't forget to set your notification settings for the channel. Use the notification bell. A couple of notes for the channel. Uh, let me know about what I asked you guys before. Uh, should, should we switch this guy out here? If you watched all the way to the video. Should we take this guy out and, like, uh, use another slot? I could put him over here. Like, and not worry about that anymore. Like, I haven't even upgraded all my guys to large. I don't really need them... When you have a super compactor, you don't really need large storage. That's the way it is. And he's already maxed, so. Um. Yeah. So that, that one right there. And then we can put another one. When these guys give me all the enchanted flint that I need to craft the armor, I'm going to pull these guys up, and then I'm going to put mithril minions down to replace them. And, uh, that's going to help me work on my Mithril collection to get that Mithril Fusion unlocked so we can get these guys really, really fast. That's going to give us extra 10% on all of them. And uh, we're going to keep booster cookies on us. Um, uh, because uh, we want to buy... Uh, I don't want to upgrade one at a time, so I want to just get them all out, upgrade the, the thing. We can do one at a time, but we're looking to... Get the heat cores here. Uh, 30, then 35,000. That's going to give us 35. I'm sorry. 
30% and 35%. So I'm going to upgrade them all to the 30% and then upgrade all the buckets to the 35%. And then what I'm going to do is wait and until I can fully upgrade and set up a minion, then we'll put another minion down. And that's how we'll do that. And it shouldn't take that long. Uh, I'll probably set up a couple of... Uh, well, I can just buy them by then. I think I just buy buy each minion or the slimes for each minion. We'll see. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, guys, so that's what we want to do. We want to start upgrading those specifically. Those I'm not worried about the rest of them on my on my uh, platform there, but but I want these guys as fast as possible. So that that's why we're working on the fly fly catchers or the dream catchers, whatever they're called. Uh, and uh. That's why we're going to keep booster cookies on us. We're going to save our bits up and then we're going to buy two heat cores. And then, uh, what do I get every time anyway? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I'm at 6,000 now per cookie. So I can buy two heat cores every time I buy a booster cookie. So every time I buy a booster cookie, I can upgrade one, one thing. So I think I'll... I'll max out my purse and then we'll go ahead and mac and get a, a bucket out and we'll go ahead and max that up to the plasma bucket. I think that's the best bet. Anyway, guys, I'm rambling. I'll see you guys later.